Hey, what you doing? Oh, I'm working on making some thatch bundles to attach to one of these basic frames, like a thatch pin. I'm making some short bundles to go on the bottom and on the top, and I'm making some longer bundles to overlap everything else. So, like I do with a lot of stuff, I'm starting off with a slip knot and put the bundle in there. There we go. Tighten it up. And then lock it in with a half hitch. And then to make sure that doesn't slip off, tight, I'll go ahead and do a overhand knot. Pull that tight. And then I'll do another overhand knot on top of that. That good and tight. And now to get ready so that it doesn't fray, I'll go ahead and do a figure eight knot. And let's see. Where'd I put the knife? Here it is. Take the time to cut that. Okay, so that's going to go on that section, that's going to be the bottom actually. I'll go ahead and attach the end of the cord here. I'll do a slip knot to start. There we go, tighten it up. Bring it around there. From the lower side, that holds it in place. And catch the top side. There we go. And to keep that from moving side to side, a couple of half hitches across the bar there. So the next one's going to go right here, so I'll go ahead and do a half hitch there, so it's ready, and pull it along. You want to see it from this side? There we go. Doing it right here in the middle, that keeps it from flipping. single over here just to get ready for the next one. And then we can do some time lapse for the rest of it. Okay. and stop or not for the overhand. And I'll 
the longer pieces. So again, we're going to attach it to the corner here, the end piece. Let's just look back. time lapse for a little bit. And figure it out. Uh, get ready for the cut. And pause it. Okay, time to secure the ends. since the smaller pieces are on the bottom side to keep the overlaps. So this is doing the ends for the first and second row. And whenever I'm doing the third row, that'll be on the next rib going in between the other ones. from whipping it around as bad. It also helps to secure that overlapping watershed effect. And we can go ahead and tie it.
cold today. But got some work to do. Let's just A little bit harder whenever the weather's cold.
Okay. Batch panel is done. It's ready to be used for construction. Fairly good insulation. And at about a 45 degree angle or so, it does a pretty good job of shedding water. Fairly lightweight. It takes about five hours to make all the thatch and lash it onto a pen. And of course it takes about two hours to make the pen. That's all for today.